Well, it was a very interesting trip. Um, generally, I drive straight through. Uh, about 20 hours and then I pull over and I sleep for a few and finish the last four or five hours This one I was on the road for 48 hours Granted there was two nights of sleeping that I pulled over. I didn't drive through the dark this time I ran into black ice. I ran into a whiteout uh, Weather was supposed to be good And it was not um, But I am where I wanted to be now and I'm meeting with some friends um, and I am enjoying the 80 degree weather. I, I'm in a summer dress, yay! So after I got here, I was with a friend for a few days. Um, she showed me some of the sights and we drove around in her convertible, it was so cool went to the river walk and I'll post these pictures and then the missions um, I was with at the Alamo in 2014 with my husband it was our last big vacation together um, so I wanted to see the rest of the missions unfortunately we're closed time we got there but they are breathtaking it's really worth the trip and it's free the river walk was awesome I think I built it up in my mind more than it really was. It reminded me of Vegas, but I've always wanted to go. So that is done. And I've done all of that section of Texas and Canyon Lake. Um, so I'm getting Texas of section by section everything I wanted to see. And then not be able to get on. New brothels. So I did have a slight problem. Um, my solar is no longer working. It's not the panel, it's the generator. So I'll walk you through that. I have emailed the company, Blue Tea. I'm hoping that, I don't know, if they'll give me a discount on another one or if I just, it's only two and a half years old. It should last at least nine. Um, so, 
I'll explain all that when I can show the system. Okay, good morning. I have been out on the road seven days. This is my seventh day. Um, it's been fun. It was two and a half days of traveling and three and a half days with friends. Um, so now today it's just time to get the van back in shape, get things figured out. Um, so let me explain how today is New Year's, so Happy New Year. Um, it was so foggy here I couldn't see the fireworks. I could hear them, but not a big deal. Um, I've gotten to see a lot of fireworks in my life, and I'll get to see more. So my solar quit, and I can't figure it out. I think it's toast. I'm on a limited income because it isn't like I can just go out and buy a new solar generator. So I'm trying to figure out the solar, um, like marine battery, 12 volt, 6 volt, charge controller, all of that because the panel's still good. So I'm trying to figure that out. And in the meantime, my little light I use is USB. I can't charge it. My van, which eventually I will need, I can't charge it because it don't store the thing it's got to be plugged into solar um and my phone <coughs> so i'm not able to charge those unless my auxiliary on my car is on and i spent a lot of time charging it keeping it charged so i could do research on solar map quest um be in touch with family and friends and in the middle of the night, I got up to charge it again, let it run about 20, 25 minutes, and it killed my car battery. It didn't want to jump over. So I'm like, okay, just let the battery sit all night. It's a good battery in my van. But my door was open all day, um, you know, and charging stuff. It's hard on the car to do that. Um, this morning I got up and it started. So I ran it for a little bit, charged my phone enough. So I'm going to try to get this video out, but it's not going to be easy. Um, yes, I could go to a McDonald's or someplace, plug in, but then I have to buy a wall charger. And mine is a C. It's got a C thing on both sides. Um, so, here, I'll show you. It's C on that side. And see on that side so I have this little one my daughter-in-law ordered for me and it's great but I can't be running my car I do have that power pack but I don't want to use that because I need to save that if my car don't start um, that I can jump my own vehicle so I don't want to use it for my electronics I do have a cigarette lighter where I could plug this into that runs off the battery but I changed the fuses a couple times it hasn't worked since I bought the vehicle so I don't know what the problem is there I'm gonna try to figure that out today um, my refrigerator I'm going to keep for the time till I decide what I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna use it for storage for dry goods that'll leave up more room in the front area um, can I eat? Yeah, I can cook pasta, macaroni and cheese. I'm going to have to cook very small quantities because my refrigerator isn't working. Um, but I've got, you know, if I want, if I'm at a Dollar General, I can get a little thing of uh, milk and have cereal yet. Um, I got canned tuna. I got canned chicken. Um, canned soups so you know I can cook all that on my stove it's just making sure I cook in a smaller quantity because I don't like to throw food out that's just wasteful so with everything that is going incorrectly or wrong whatever you want to call it um, am I stressed no am I like oh god damn life sucks no um, Yesterday I was sitting in a summer dress, which I'm still in, 
because back on the road, you just don't change clothes every day. Um, this is still an amazing life out here. Things are going to go wrong, whether you live in a traditional life or van life. Things are going to go wrong. Um, things are going to break down. You're going to have to figure out how to fix them or how to pay somebody to fix them. So this is just all part of life. And getting stress on it, it just doesn't work for me. I am a lot less stress-free out here on the road. My husband always said, somebody spills a glass of milk, you're like, ah! The house burns down and you're like, I got this. Um, and I've always been that way for some reason. And the big things make my brains think. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate you. You keep this really nice and clean. You're welcome. That was the local maintenance. Um, they do a great job of coming out every morning, picking up trash. Unfortunately, there were some fishermen that left trash laying around, and I just didn't pick it up. Um, but they did this morning. They keep this very, very nice for their visitors. And I've had it pretty much all to myself. There's been a couple RVs that pulled over for a few hours and left. Um, so, um, it's just sitting in the nice weather. I mean, everything about van life is just perfect, at least for me. Um, I still have not had a bad day out here. Um, I enjoy it. I love it. I look forward to the adventures. Um, I have met so many great people, either roadies or people that live in traditional houses. In fact, the two friends that I have spent the last five days with all have houses. We just met, clicked, exchanged information, and then they became subscribers. So, hey, Cuddles. Hey, Sheila. How are you guys? Thank you so much. And when I got my stove out, I found this. A very expensive bottle of wine from the Biltmore Estates. The cold popped the lid. I had been waiting to try this. I've had it for nine years, so I was letting it get good and aged, and it was going to be either a special occasion with my kids. Okay. Yeah. I, there's a little bit in the bottom. Took a drink. Nasty. Nobody was missing anything. Well, I didn't kick the bucket, but my bucket kicked the bucket. This is my only one I have left because the big one split right away. This one has got a big old hole in it. I haven't used it since Ohio, so I don't know if it just wore out. I'm assuming it did. Um, I really used this one a lot. was going to use it to wash out some stuff. But that's going in the trash because I've tried Flex Seal and it didn't hold on the other one. Oh well. So, this is what I love about life out here. So, the bucket had a hole in it. I'm like, okay, you can get them through Amazon, they're 12 bucks. So, if I spend that a year, it's not bad. But then I gotta try to find some place to have it shipped to or an Amazon box. Too much trouble and everything i get rid of is more space and every five pounds probably adds just that much more gas per gallon so i have this ice basket sitting here let me show you and that is a small kitchen sink or toilet plunger whatever so i scrubbed it out good um there's not much it's just junk that goes in there um, and there's always a plastic bag, so I scrubbed it out, washed up my dishes, and then I'm washing my clothes. Now, for you that don't live on the road, you're like, oh, yuck. And I'll tell you, probably four years ago, I would have gone, 
now it's like, okay, they're clean. Um, so those that live in a traditional house are probably going, Whoa. those that live on the road are like, that's ingenious. You have to make everything work double or triple or quadruple. Um, and it's a challenge. I just don't have to call a repairman and say, oh, my uh, dishwasher isn't working. You just figure out another way to do it. Hey, that wasn't meant for my friend that I had to call a plumber to fix their dishwasher. Stay tuned for part two on all the updates coming up in the next couple of days. In the meantime, explore, travel, stay fantastic.